This video will go over entering large numbers of gifts into Salesforce. So you're going to start by navigating to gift entry and this page will come up here. You will see up at the top right the option to enter a new batch, so a large number of gifts or gifts one by one. So for this example, the background is that our organization had a gala last Friday and we received 10 paper checks at the event. Um, a colleague have, has entered the information from those checks into a spreadsheet and now I want to enter that information into Salesforce. So I'm going to click on New Batch and I've already created a template for this specific event with some default entries to make it a little bit easier uh, when I enter a large number of gifts. So I'm going to select Sample Gala Entry temp Template. Next. So for the batch name, just enter an example. For this example, we're just going to go through three, but you can certainly enter a much larger number there. And again, another example. So for these two fields, expected count of gifts and expected total batch amount, if I like, click on this box here, require these two expected totals match, that means when I am done entering all of my gifts, the system can check to see if it adds up to these totals for me. And if it does not, it will throw an error and it will tell me which uh, are incorrect. So that's really helpful when you have a large number of checks that you are entering um, to make sure that uh, you don't have a typo. But you certainly don't have to check that. So uh, this is for default values. So if you know your entire batch has the same of one of uh, these fields, that can save you time when you're entering um, the indi individual gift information. Um, for this example, because I uh, created a template beforehand, there are already some defaults that are going to help me out. Um, the first of which is this opportunity close date. Um, the gala took place on the 19th, so I went ahead and made that a default. And uh, I already pre-connected this to a campaign, um, the sample gala event. So that is something you can do after the fact, but you will have to do it each time. So this just saved me some time putting it in the template. Um, so we'll just put in some uh, samples here. I know the only thing that I really want to be a default is the um, uh, donation donor field. So the two options are here. You can relate it to a contact or an account. Um, because these came from individual donors, I'm going to have all of them be for the contact. Everything else is going to change um, between gift information, such as amount, um, the check number. I went ahead and made a check default uh, in the template as well because I know that these are all checks, so that saves me some time as well. And we'll move on to the next stage. All right, so this is where you actually enter the individual gift information. I saved some time by making these um, defaults uh, in the template and the page we were just on. Uh, so for the first example, um, I'm going to just use some sample information just so we can see what it looks like. Opportunity amount, so the amount on the first check is 50,000. Again, everything else is default, the check information. We've also made this field available here for GAU allocations, so you can certainly, um, you can certainly have uh, the allocations here if you would like to. We don't need it at this time. So save and enter, that is my first gift information. It went pretty quickly, so we will save and go to number two so it will reappear here. Now if you scroll down, this is really helpful. Because I entered those um, expected totals, I can now see where I am in the counts. I have one of three, and for the total batch amount, I have 50,000 out of 150, and it will list all of the information here as well. 
All right, so let's go ahead and put some sample information again. Now, of course, in a real life situation, these will all be different um, organizations and contexts. But just for this example, you will have this information. So this will be 80,000. Save and enter. And again, you'll see that comes up here at the bottom. We have one more to go. We're almost to our total. The remaining 20. All right. So it does allow you to enter more, but if we scroll down here, we already know that we'll possibly throw an error because we've got three out of three and we've got 150 out of 150. So the status and error here columns are important um, because this will show if you have any errors. So dry run validated. That means there are no errors. This is also blank. So we are good to go. We can go back up to the top. And if we know for sure we want to go ahead and import all of this information into Salesforce, we can click up at the top, Process Batch. And here are just some uh, important points to remember. Nothing of note for this uh, specific example, so we can go ahead and click Begin Data Import Process. We know we have three records. Should just take one second. All right, so that is completed, and you can see some of that um, processing information there. Click Close, and if we go back to the gift entry page, we can see it appears now, and we can um, see all of the information from that recent batch. So that, in a nutshell, is entering a large number of gifts via batches in gift entry.